This year, in what might be the most viewed astronomical event the world has ever seen, the shadow of the moon will sweep across the United States. This is a rare event. The last time that shadow of totality touched the continental US was back in the 1970s. The path is narrow and the shadow moves quickly, so you'll need to find a spot along this path to see the greatest sight nature has in store, a total eclipse of the sun. Total solar eclipses occur when the Earth, Moon, and Sun line up just right, and the Earth falls within the shadow of the Moon. The Moon's shadow is very small, so you need to be in just the right place on Earth to see it. If you're too far away from the shadow's center, you'll only see a partial eclipse. The Moon will block part of the Sun, leaving just a crescent shape from the Sun in view. But, if you're in the path of totality, the moon will completely block the face of the sun. You'll see a total solar eclipse. People will travel all over the world to witness even a couple minutes of totality. But on Monday, August 21st, 2017, everyone in the continental United States will be within a day's drive of that path. You should never look at the sun without special protection. Sunglasses or other homebrew methods are not safe for direct solar viewing. But solar eclipse glasses reduce the brightness of the sun by over 99% and make it safe to look at as you wait for totality. Another fun way to view the partially eclipsed sun is to look at the shadows cast by the leaves on trees. The gaps between the leaves act as pinhole projectors, and you may see dozens or even hundreds of crescent images on the ground. Or you could use a colander or a piece of cardboard with a small hole poked in it. It takes about an hour and a half between the beginning of the eclipse to totality. When the sun is at least 70% covered, the sky will noticeably start to darken. Once the moon completely blocks the sun, you'll be experiencing a total solar eclipse. During this brief, awe-inspiring experience, take off those eclipse glasses and look up to the sky. You'll see the sun's corona, its outer atmosphere, which is otherwise hidden by the sun's brightness. If the sky is clear, you might even see some stars. Animals will exhibit nighttime behavior, the temperature will lower, and you'll have an experience you will never forget. But that experience will be brief. As the moon continues orbiting Earth, it will begin to uncover the sun. As soon as even the tiniest part of the sun comes back into view, you'll need to put those solar glasses back on to look at the sun. The total solar eclipse of August 21st, 2017 will be over. What time does it start? What time does it end? The eclipse happens at different times, all depending on your location on Earth. Visit adventuresci.org slash eclipse 2017 to check out different observing locations on the map. It's an experience you'll remember for the rest of your life. Join us at the Pseudicum Planetarium to learn more in our newest show, Eclipse, The Sun Revealed. August 21st, 2017. Where will you be?